this uh, uh, part of the talk is about the difference between a straight diesel electric and a hybrid diesel electric. This is something that uh, has been somewhat controversial in the industry. Um, our beloved Nigel Calder has recently done a, a, a lot of studying with Graham Hawksley from England uh, on the uh, uh, diesel electric versus hybrid diesel electric and uh, the whole industry in general now that it's going mainstream. Um, uh, basically the math behind all of this is very complex um, and very simple at the same time. Um, uh, we know that there's a certain efficiency that our diesel engine has. These diesel engines um, on the low end are not so efficient and then they get to a spot where they're pretty doggone efficient and then as they work too hard they lose efficiency again. So uh, with efficiency of the fossil fuel that we're burning being key, we want to always stay in this happy spot. And by the way, this happy spot where the best efficiency is, is also where the best torque is. Um, beyond this, the diesel engine is actually working hard, increasing RPM in order to increase horsepower. There's no additional torque it's just pushing that same amount of torque at a higher RPM. So, staying in that happy spot is what we want to do. Well, if we look at the straight diesel electric, where the electric motor, as it increases in RPM, requires an increase in kilowatts, from a generator, then that generator, which is propelled by a diesel engine, has to do everything from the very low end to the very high end. Well, if this is the same as this, then what we're dealing with is basically the same efficiencies even though the efficiency of the electric motor is 90%, the inefficiency associated with, building, with, with developing the kilowatts from a fossil fuel motor outside the range of this optimum range decreases that efficiency uh, to some lower level. Um, actually, uh, when I originally did the math, about 12 years ago, uh, I figured out at that time that based on the losses of the electric system, the controller and the motor, that in fact it's probably more efficient to just hook a transmission up to that diesel engine. Because most of the transmissions are losing uh, 10 to 14 percent efficiency. And in fact, if we're running at 90% efficiency on the motor, there's a loss of 10%. And if the controller is losing another 8 to 10%, there's uh, 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 another 10, which is, gives us a total of 20% lost. So if we're only losing 10 to 14% in the transmission, and in fact the electric system has 20% uh, losses, then we are less than the comparable uh, uh, transmission and we might as well go ahead and use that transmission. Now, the big difference with the hybrid is the battery pack. The battery pack stays in the middle between the electric motor and the fossil fuel motor. 
this electric motor down here, um, and uh, we have gone to great lengths to develop the best motors in the world um, uh, at pushing propellers. They're designed specifically to push propellers. These motors are running at 94% efficiency, so we got a 6% loss. And they have controls that are running at 96% efficient, so we got a 4% loss there. What that gives us is a total of 10%. It's my calculation that that transmission, if I give them the benefit of the doubt, is at least 10%. But that transmission also operates here and here. What the diesel-electric hybrid allows to happen is that my energy to power this system comes from a battery pack that really can be thought of as a buffer. That then always allows the fossil fuel motor to operate right there. Because in the battery pack, I can run the voltage down from its full charge state and then start the generator at a spot where it's going to be running in this area and it's going to provide the energy that the motor needs while it's recharging the battery pack back up, always staying right here in this optimum range. And then once it's charged back up, the generator turns off and now we're back to running off the batteries again. That, in and of itself, is enough to make these systems much more efficient uh, than the comparable diesel and electric. And uh, I believe the, uh, uh, if we stopped right there, um, uh, we, we would be doing better than the comparable diesel electric and better than the comparable diesel. But the other thing that having the battery pack in the middle allows us to do is have renewable inputs. This is a big one, renewable inputs. Because from these motors, which are brushless DC, we can get regeneration, we can get solar, We can charge from the dock, and we can fill our buffer up from these other areas so that we're not burning any fossil fuel at all to get our batteries charged. In fact, uh, I have two hours worth of running time on my catamaran, uh, Lagoon 47. And typically, my first two hours of every trip is charged from the dock or from my solar array. This combination of things then makes us more efficient than the diesel electrics, more efficient than the comparable diesel, and will allow us to be the propulsion system for the next millennium.